All right, uh, these are the new Innovo antennas. Uh, these are the 432 ones that I've got assembled so far. I've got two for two meters, which actually are about another four feet longer than these. These are right at about 30 feet. And I've got a couple that are just slightly shorter for 222. These happen to be the 30 element model. And I'll give you a little close-up look. Uh, these are the, uh, of course, the element mounts, which mount on top of the boom. This is a square boom, as you can see. And I'll tell you what, it is heavy duty. And it's a, it's a complete same uh, diameter, of course, all the way down. Unlike the uh, tapered uh, designs of other antenna companies. And uh, you've got uh, basically a, a, a single uh, a stainless steel uh, Allen head. Uh, bolt that goes through into a tapped uh, 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 nut inside the tube itself. So it's pretty cool design. Everything's pretty much pre-positioned for you. And each element has got uh, basically a little mark on both sides which gets you uh, close enough and then all you do is clamp them down. Uh, back here in the back is the, uh, the boom support uh, point on the back of the antenna. And then here's the, the driven element and of course the ballon that's a uh, coax and then I've got uh, the connections here and what I did I used the uh, the liquid tape that you can buy uh, that's brushed on to cover the terminals up I haven't adjusted these antennas yet I'll do that this weekend and I'll show you more on the the SWR and how they uh, how they tune and this is your solid uh, aluminum block for DC short back here and moving that element around anyway walk down along here again these are some pretty pretty long antennas here's your uh, boom to support mast of course uh, square uh, u bolts and then really nicely done aluminum uh, plates and of course each element comes marked uh, with its the number in this case director 15 I've doubled up the marking just to make sure of what I was reading when I was putting this thing together. And uh, here's your typical uh, boom uh, splice and joint. And I'll show you here in a minute how they do that on the other antennas. Anyway, we'll continue on down here. And like I said, these things here are massive. And here's the other point for the, uh, the support rope. Pretty... Uh, Pretty robust uh, design uh, from Innovo Antennas out of Great Britain. And I actually uh, purchased these uh, through the dealership here in the United States through uh, Chip Margelli K7JA, who was uh, great to work with. I'll show you the uh, support rope bracket mount. Just a single uh, bracket and stainless steel uh, turnbuckles which will connect, of course, uh, above the uh, mast, and then you can cut your ropes uh, to the length you need them and tighten them up to support the uh, massive length of these things. There'll be two of these stacked on 432, and uh, looking forward to, uh, to seeing the results and the performance. And Here's a close-up of the ballon, and as you can see, it goes through the uh, the boom into the top. Oh, another thing unique I want to show you was uh, this uh, isolate isolation system here with the PVC, and then of course uh, on both sides of the uh, the driven element. So there you have it. There's the 432 30 element antennas from Innovo Antennas uh, in Great Britain. Uh, now being used here in the United States.